All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 40. All right. So button one represents our first button element. These elements have a special property called on click, which we can use to determine what happens when someone clicks that button. We can access properties in JavaScript a couple of different ways. The first is with dot notation. Accessing the on click property of a button would look like this. So button not on click. All right. So basically, uh, all these like this is okay. Let's let's go through this. You, we're going to use dot notation to set the on click property of our button one to the function reference of go store. And we're going to note that button one is already declared, so we don't need to use let or const. All right. So button one, we've got that up here, right? And it does the document dot query selector uh, button one ID. So it's going in here, and that thing is going to find this ID, and it's got the go to store, which creates this button right here, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to come back over to the JavaScript. Uh, we're going to do this thing. We're going to say button one dot on click. So button one dot on click. All right. And we're going to set that to the reference of go store. So we're going to say button click button one dot on click equals go store. So this is going to make it to where we ever we click button one, it'll do this go store method. I mean, pardon me, this go store function. And the thing is, it's not like HTML where it goes from top to bottom. Like if we had the, if we had the, uh, what is it? The script in the top, it won't do anything else because it will run that and it won't go look for anything else. With JavaScript, whenever you do this thing, it'll, when we click it, it starts from the top and it goes, there it is. Let's do it. All right. And to prove that, let's open up the console over here. Let's hover over the Go store and let's click it. And boom, just like that. So we actually made something work. This is actually now it's interactive, right? So let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 41. And we'll see you next time.